Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on my 10 gallon tote bin number one. So, the last update was on uh, the 12th of June, and today is the uh, 26th. That's 24 days later. And we're going to take another look and see how it's doing, see if it needs more food, if it needs, you know, more moisture, or if it needs more bedding. So, let's go take a look and see how it's doing. All right, before we open it up, I just want to show you, I wrote today's date on here of 6-24-2020. So we are ready to go and open this up and take a look. First thing first, we're going to flip the lid over. It is dry, so the moisture levels might be a little bit low in here. I do have the, uh, the bottle here ready to go to water it down. And under here, I think if I remember right, was most of the food. So let's just take a look in here. I see a worm already. Looks like a nice healthy worm. So make sure it gets in focus there. So that looks good. Some more worms over here. As I said, there's not many, there's not too many in this bin right now. Oh, it looks like some actually here are forming more little baby worms. If you can see right there, they are together and they're they're getting ready to lay some cocoons. Hopefully, another big, nice, healthy one right here. If I can grab them. This one looks like it's got a nice collar on it as well, right there. So it looks like that one might be maybe ready to lay some cocoons. Let's just kind of dig around over here. Just a lot of newspaper. A couple worms in here. Some little ones, or smaller I should say. Not, not real small, but they're smaller. Material feels actually pretty good moisture level if I were to squeeze this I, mean, I don't want to squeeze it because I'm afraid there's some worms in here but there might be some like a drop of moisture that comes out actually I just saw and I think I lost it but I saw a cocoon up oh, nope here it is right here so right there on the tip of my finger if I can get that in focus is a cocoon so let's just see if I can move away some of the dirt here that's covering it but yeah it's right there there is a cocoon here so I'm trying to make sure that it focuses on my hand and not the bin behind it but there is a cocoon, so they're laying cocoons in here, which is a good sign. There's actually another one right over here and more, so that's a good sign. I'm seeing a lot of cocoons in here, so this is sort of working as I, as I hoped. I don't have a lot of worms in here. I'm hoping that they will reproduce and bring my population back up. Here's a piece of a banana, so that's actually food. I'm not seeing much other food in here. There's another nice big fat worm in here, so nice healthy worms. Oh, more banana peel over here, so there's still some food in here. The worms are going after it. Let's just throw that piece of newspaper over here in the corner. Let's dig over here and take a look. Again, good moisture content, not overly moist, not overly dry. I'm running this a little bit lower than normal on food. I mean, there's a little bit in here, but not a whole lot. We're gonna have to add some, definitely. But nice, nice big, healthy worms. So, those two are also copulating, it looks like. I don't know if those are the same ones from before since I'm in that same area. Let's just dig over here. I'm not getting any smell out of this that's uh, bad. It actually kind of smells like fruit. Um, some more worms on top of here. Nice. All these have really healthy collars. They look very mature. Here's a, here's a young one right here. This is a young juvenile worm. Right there, you can really see that this one is really juvenile. Um, not, no collar on it or anything. It's it's kind of a yellow tail and the the purplish and the yellow tail is actually of this uh, the red red worms. They have yellow tails, but it has a yellow tail, and it's not just pink all the way through. So it's not a baby baby, but it's still a young one. So that'd be like a juvenile. Just see another coffee filter right there, or is it the same one? I don't even know. I think this is, no, that's not it. We're just kind of flipping this around here, looking real quick. Looks like this is a nice, healthy bin, good mixture. Maybe could use, I don't think it needs more bedding. I thought it might by this point, but I'm not seeing, there's still plenty of bedding in here. It's not really broken down a whole lot. So I think we're good on bedding. Material's looking really nice though. Uh, you know this consistency and everything it's very it's kind of clumpy a little bit But not you know, it just kind of flakes apart if you start squeezing it a little bit So that's about what you want. You want something that's gonna fall apart easily like that 
Now you have to remember these 10 gallon totes are not meant for a lot of food. So you don't want to, you don't want to load them up. These are meant for smaller amounts of food compared to uh, these, the big bins, uh, bag systems that I've showed you, or some bigger totes if you had a big tote. But then you have to make sure you really monitor the, the oxygen levels because they can get kind of compressed if it's tall. You really want wide instead of tall. So, all right, I think we are ready actually for some more food in here. Actually, hold on, let's just see what this clump is right here. Uh, this is actually some more food right here. It looks like these might be, and the worms are working at it. So if you can't tell, worms are working at this section right here. It feels like that might be, uh, I don't know if this is a fruit peel or apple or, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a, something that was orange. So maybe it wasn't orange. I don't know. I did, I did throw some clementine peels in here. And you know, actually, I think this is clementine actually. So I think that they're working at a clementine peel right there, which is usually a little bit acidic, but whoop, another little juvenile worm right there. So we're going to put that guy back in. Let's clear all this off my gloves. I'm gonna grab some food. We're gonna add a little bit more food here in the center. I'm gonna add, when I do this, I am gonna add a little bit more bedding. Actually, did we dig in the center here? A Little bit moist down here. Lots of worms though. You can hear the moisture. So it's a little bit too moist down here. So we need to try to dry this out a little bit maybe. Hear that kind of muddy sound? That's a little bit too moist. Want to dry it out, kind of spread it around, get some paper down in there maybe. Good population of worms in here though. It is, does look like there's a lot of cocoons too. I mean, I was able to find just a few without really poking around too much and some of the worms copulating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a little bit of paper here. I'm gonna put in a little bit of fresh bedding just to act as a protection because the, the food that I have is frozen. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of bedding like this and we're gonna throw some food right on top of that and get them to try to go to town on that. We'll put this actually, this, this food right here that's uneaten, we'll put that actually on top of the other food as well, along with a little bit more bedding. And then we'll get it a little bit wet. But first, before we do any of that, I'm gonna take off my glove here. I'm gonna grab a mask. So or in my case, I use uh, cotton shirts and stuff like that too, but I'm gonna grab a mask and I'm going to add a little bit more of the crushed eggshell that I have. So this is a mixture of crushed eggshell and crushed crab shells. And I have my mask on, that's why I sound muffled. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. You're not supposed to breathe this in, this isn't good for your lungs, but I'm gonna pour a little bit on here. And I'm gonna probably put a little bit on top of the food as well once I add it. So let me go grab the food and then we'll add that and then I'll put a little bit more on and then we'll add some moisture and see how that does, all right? So let me go grab the food, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna grab my glove here, put my glove on. Oh, I got actually a worm on here. Let me get that guy off first. Before I start touching some, some of this frozen food, I gotta make sure I don't wanna have any of these worms stick to it and freeze to death. So I have a variety of foods here, but I'm gonna add in a couple different types here. So the first thing we're gonna add here is this banana peel. This is completely frozen. I'm just gonna break it in half or quarters and try to add this like this and just kind of lay it in there on top of this. So I can break it up just a little bit more. Now you will find that these ends here move a little bit slower than the middle section and the inside goes a little bit out quicker than the outside. So I tend to, I'm gonna to try to fold these inside out and try to get this really worked in. Then I'm gonna add a few pieces of celery here just for a variety of diet and some lettuce. Go ahead and grab it. It's hard when this is all frozen together, but there we go, some lettuce. And the reason why I'm adding a variety is that I don't like to just call it throwing just banana peels, although I have a ton of them. Um, it's the, the primary food that we have been going through here during the, uh, the pandemic is tons and tons of bananas. They, we go through a lot of them as we make banana shakes. Maybe I should make a video on the recipe that I use because my kids love it. And it's actually uh, low sugar. So, but uh, here we go. So there we go. There's a nice little pile of food there in the middle. I'm gonna put my take off my glove again. I'm gonna put my mask on, and we're gonna add a little bit more crushed eggshell, and then we're gonna add a little bit more bedding and then some water. So first thing first though, mask on for the crushed eggshell. All right, mask is on.
And we're just going to put just a slight bit on the top here. We don't need a whole lot. But there was a chunk that was in there, but that's okay. So as you can see right here, this is a chunk that kind of solidified together. But that means it's also, because it's moist, it's not going to go up into the air like the other ones would. So there we go. So that's in there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of bedding on top. So, and I'm just adding small handfuls of bedding this time, not a whole lot. Just a little bit of bedding, just to kind of cover it up a little bit at this time. And now we're going to add some water. So I'm going to take my mask off here. I'm going to grab my watering container, which is a sprayer that I use. And we're just going to add a little bit. And this is just going to kind of moisten everything down, keep everything from going up in the air. And we're not going to add a whole lot. I'm just adding a little bit here. So I think that's good. Now the last thing I want to do here, and this is something you should always do with your food in these type of containers, is you can do top feedings, but I really feel you should kind of bury them a little bit. So we're going to bury this under this piece of paper here. And we'll put, we'll put our, uh, our marker on top of it that we, bear, we, we put it in the middle. I'm going to fill up the edges here a little bit here. But just kind of, well, let's just let's put a little bit more of, of uh, some of the more stuff on top here, just a little bit. This, what that's going to do is going to hold it down. It's going to get the microbial activity going in this section and get them ready to eat again. So bin's looking really good. As you can tell, I'm adding white paper in here. We'll see what this looks like the next time we open it. I bet it won't be white anymore, but really good section right here of food. And we'll see how this does in the next update, which will probably be in you know another 20 days or so. I'm not doing weekly updates like I did the first time I did one of these bins. I'm doing you know a little bit longer than that because it does take them longer to break down the food that is not ground up like I've done in the past. So thank you for watching. Remember please that I have Amazon links for a lot of these items down below. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching.